Ladies and gentlemen, señoras y señores, good afternoon. Muy buenas tardes. Let me ask you to please uh, be seated. I am Avidan Rodriguez, and I, am, I have the delight and the pleasure to welcome all of you this afternoon to our 2014 Summer Commencement Ceremony for the University of Texas Pan American. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome our university faculty, staff, our guests, and especially our students. And let me be the first one to congratulate you on your success. Congratulations, muchas felicidades. Will everyone please rise and join us in singing our national anthem led by UT Pan American student, Mr. Roberto Garza. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. I would also like you uh, to join me in a round of applause for the UT Pan American Brass Choir under the direction of Dr. Scott Reeder. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the members of the stage party whom I will ask to stand and be recognized. Let's start with Mr. Martin Baylor, Vice President for Business Affairs. Dr. Martha Cantu, Vice President for Student Affairs. Ms. Veronica Gonzalez, Vice President for University Advancement. Dr. Jeff Graham, Vice President for Information Technology. Dr. Cynthia Brown, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Ala Kubash, Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs. Dr. Sadiq Shah, Vice Provost for Research. Dr. Kristen Croyle, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education and Dean of the University College. Doctora Dalia Guerra, Dean, College of Arts and Humanities. Doctor Teofilo Osuno, Osuna, Dean, College of Business Administration. Doctor Miguel Gonzalez, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Doctor John Trant, Dean, College of Science and Mathematics. Ms. Erika Gonzalez, NBC4, Washington Consumer News reporter and anchor, and our guest speaker for this afternoon. Mrs. Lali Rojas, UT Pan American Alumni Association. And the announcer for this afternoon's ceremony is Ms. Jessica Montoya, morning show producer, host, and reporter for KNVO Univision 48 KFXV. Fox 2. <laughs> Thank you. And
And certainly, last but not least, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce a friend, a colleague, and the University of Texas Pan American's eighth president, Dr. Robert S. Nelson. Dr. Nelson comes to us with a distinguished career in educational leadership and community service. Dr. Nelson is a literature and philosophy scholar, experienced administrator, award-winning professor, published writer, and author. He earned his PhD from the Committee on Social Thought at the University of Chicago. His PhD fields of specialization on modern literature, philosophy, and political theory. A true champion for student success at the University of Texas Pan American. Ladies and gentlemen, senoras y senores, please help me welcome Dr. Robert S. Nelson. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Let me begin by admitting something that I shouldn't admit. I didn't like going to graduation ceremonies before coming to the Valley. They were boring, they were long, and you were getting all of this advice. But then I came here and people told stories, stories about their lives, stories about successes that they'd had, how they had graduated in spite of roadblocks. And I began to love graduation. I'm about to leave the valley, as most of you know. And as I get ready to leave the valley, I'm in a reflective state of mind, thinking back about what the valley and Pan Am has taught me. And students like you, in the last five years, I have learned a lot because of this valley. First and foremost, I learned about mothers, about the power of motherhood, about the power of love, and about the power of family. I grew up not at all close to my mother. Montana was a hard place to grow up. And the isolation, the lack of family, the cold, we just never bonded. I got here and I saw the mothers. I saw them at orientation. I saw them at Bucky's block party. I saw them with International Wood uh, Women's Board. I saw them at graduation. And I saw how powerful they were and how much they loved their sons and daughters and how they took care of them. From time to time, people would tell me that the mothers needed to let go of the kids in the valley, of their children. Needed to let them go so they could go to the big city, so they could earn a lot of money, so that they could have better lives. They told them that the mothers were holding the children back. I don't think that's true. I don't think it's true at all. I learned that because of the love that the mothers have for their children, they wanted to be here with them. And I learned from the mothers that this new university, the new university that we're creating, UTRGV, had to be about creating jobs so that there were good jobs here, so that the families could stay together and be strong, so that they could be with las abuelitas y los abuelos, los padres, as a family. So that's the first thing that the Valley taught me. Las madres son todo. Ellas saben lo que debemos ser y hacer. They know what we must be and what we must do. They are setting the mission 
of this new university. Next, I learned a hard lesson. I always took pride in being colorblind. When I was in Chicago, I was in a li with Little League. We had about 800 kids. And there was a sprinkling of Anglos, of whites. But mainly, the kids were African American. And we always said, color doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. And my son, he was in a bitty basketball league for just little kids. And they started calling him Larry Bird. <laughs> and he was mad because he said, Larry Bird's ugly. Why are they calling me ugly? And I said, Seth, you're the only white kid. And it doesn't matter. And I ran on the lake. And I ran with Los Aztecas so that I could practice my Spanish. And I was the only white, only Angolo that ran with them. And I said color didn't matter. Well, the valley taught me that color really does matter. It matters culturally, and it matters politically. Everyone, whether brown, white, black, or yellow, needs to celebrate their culture, needs to celebrate their traditions, needs to celebrate who they are. Es una lástima que hay demasiado de nuestros estudiantes que no pueden hablar español. Just like it is a pity that I can't speak my grandfather's language, his native language, Norwegian. Our heritage, our language matter. The mariachis matter. Think about it for just a second. Think about Mother's Day, when the mariachis play then. Think about Besa Me Mucho. I've cried many, many times to Besa Me Mucho. <laughs> it matters. It matters a lot. Our ballet, folklorico. Them dancing with their native costumes, the costumes of Mexico. I wished I could dance like that. It matters. It really matters. Two of the greatest memories I have have to do with color. One of them is when Veronica Gonzalez introduced me as a Mexican, a white Mexican. That mattered to me. The other was when a mother came up to me and said, I had a brown heart. That really mattered. It matters in tough ways, too, though. Hearing about the walkouts at El Chelsea, the riots at La Jolla, the plight of the braceros as they came across the river, Hearing a doctor tell me that our students only got into medical school because of their last name, that taught me that color still matters and that prejudice is still alive. We need immigration reform. Having people come from California to protest against the poor kids that are coming across the border shows that we've got a long ways to go. But you graduates, you will lead the way because color matters whether it's white or black or brown or yellow. It doesn't matter. La lucha no ha terminado. The fight is not over. 
the fight is not over. Si se puede. Si se puede. We can win. I know that because the Valley and Pan Am have taught me that. You, students, you are the very best students in America. I've been at other universities. I know how good you are. You have succeeded, and today we celebrate your success. But we always must remember that you have succeeded because of your mothers, because of your fathers, because of your heritage, because of this place, this magic place, this valley. You students have also succeeded, and I mean this very sincerely, because I believe that we have the best faculty in America, right here. They drank the proverbial Kool-Aid, and they stayed, and they are here because they love and respect you students. UTRGV is going to be a blessed university because it will have this quality of faculty. And the university will succeed because of this faculty. It will also be blessed because of the staff that are now at Pan Am that will be transitioning into UTRGV. They are here today giving up their Saturday just so that they can help you celebrate and be part of this great place. Because of sacrifices that we've made, not one of those staff members earns less than 20000 That's up from 18000 that they were making just five years ago. It's not a living wage yet, but we've got to make certain that we transform this valley with UTRGV, that this new university is a university for everybody, a university that pays well, and a university that creates jobs so the mothers do not have to see their students leave. A university where you can come back and be the new professors at that university. Love, inclusiveness, respect, fair wages, sacrifice for the sake of others. The Valley has taught me all of that. It has taught me those values. Our legislators have taught me about sacrifice as well. They convinced an entire state that we needed the permanent university fund down here, that we needed buildings, that we needed a new university. And they were willing to sacrifice their alma mater, their beloved Pan Am, for you. We have already brought $348 million to the Valley. We have a new science building that will be being built with 50 labs. We have a new medical school starting at the corner of Sugar and Junior. We've got the Performing Arts Center coming up, and it's going to be beautiful. Yes, they sacrificed for you and for the next generation that will be attending UTRGV. I am going to miss the valley, but the valley taught me a lot. And most importantly, the valley and Pan Am softened me and taught me to cry. It taught me the power and the beauty of tears. And I'm grateful for that. 
I don't often quote anybody in a speech, but there is one quotation I want to give you now, one by Washington Irving. There is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, of deep contrition, and of unspeakable love. Because of tears, and because of looking through tears, he he aprendido. I have learned que son sueños, what are dreams. And I have learned to dream because of those tears. I dream of your future, of what you will accomplish. I dream of what UTRGV will accomplish. I dream of what it will do as it transforms the valley and as you transform the valley. I dream of your future and your sons and daughters' future. That's why we created the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. The valley has given me and my wife so much. Jody, please stand. We have come to think of the 20,053 students that we have as our sons and daughters. And we've come to love the faculty and the staff and see them as our sisters and brothers, nuestros primos, tías, tíos, all of our family. The valley, in the end, has taught me a huge lesson. And Pan Am has taught me a huge lesson. That lesson is, y lo digo todo el tiempo, somos una familia. We are a family. De mi corazón, from my heart, and from Jody's heart. A sus corazones, digo otra vez, somos una familia. We are a family, a precious and dear family. Let's remember that. Let's remember that feeling of family. It doesn't matter what the name of the university will be or who the president will be. It matters that we always remain a family and that we love and with that we care for each other. Thank you. Basta. Part of our family at Pan Am is a very special part of the family. I talked about sacrifice a few moments ago. Part of our family at Pan Am has sacrificed and gone to Iraq and Afghanistan and other places. This world is not a very safe place right now. We all know that. But we have courageous individuals who have gone and sacrificed for us and some of them are graduating today. Would the veterans who are graduating please stand so that we may salute you.
And would all the veterans in the audience please rise so that we may salute you too for your sacrifices. And now, it is my distinct honor to introduce you to a member of our family, a member who has left us and is in Washington, D.C., but she's very proud of being an alumna of Pan American, UT Pan American, Mrs. Miss Erica Gonzalez. She earned her BA in communications, and the communication faculty are here, from communications in 2007. And she has blazed a career that has taken her to the number seven market in the nation as an anchor and a consumer reporter for NBC4 in Washington, D.C. Yes, someone from here. Since joining them, she's covered some of the biggest no news events that there are. The Boston bombing at the Marathon. The tornado that ravaged more Oklahoma. She's gone to El Salvador to investigate the ruthless gangs there and what's happening and why those children are leaving. Before joining NBC4, she went from here up to Austin and was an anchor there and a reporter at KEYE TV. Here in the Valley, she was a reporter and a producer and an executive producer actually at XRIO TV. But I think what she's more proud of, because she brought all of her sorority sisters with her today, is Delta Chi Nu Multicultural Sorority that she was a member of, and she w was the first person to ever be on Bronx TV and do the first forecast <laughs> for Bronx TV. So she wears Pan Am in her heart, and you better out watch out for her because she's a black belt in Kung Fu, and she runs marathons. But to me, she very much is a daughter and a friend. Erica. Wow. Good afternoon, UTPA. Muy buenas tardes a todos ustedes. Realmente. Es un gran orgullo estar aquí con ustedes. To all of the students, the faculty, and the staff, to Dr. Nelson, I cannot begin to put into words what being here means to me. Honestly, I really have no business being up here. I haven't ventured into space. I am not the general of an army, I'm not a celebrity, and I'm not a multimillionaire. So, who the heck am I, right? And I bet that that is a question that resonates with you. Dr. Nelson and I spoke not long ago, and he was in DC on business. We met to catch up, and let me tell you that the man drives a hard sell. <laughs> Before we could even order our meal, he grabbed my hand and said, as he always lovingly speaks to his children. Mijita, will you come back to UTPA to be our commencement speaker? Of all the things that God has blessed me with the ability to achieve, this is the highest honor. Thank you. You know, he thought that it would be wise if one of your peers talked to you, so here I am. I am Erica Gonzalez. I am the consumer reporter and anchor for NBC Washington, D.C. I am UTPA class of 2007. 
I am one of you. I'm a Bronx, a Latina, a Texas native, the daughter of two humble parents, a mistake maker. Trust me, I have many. But I'm just one that has more sense than to stay down when I have fallen. Dr. Nelson asked me to give you a heads up as to what you might encounter out there because out there can be very daunting. But I'm here to tell you in case you haven't already noticed that the sheer fact that you are here means that you are an overcomer. You know, there is more to standing in front of cameras and people than giving facts and looking pretty. And although that might be something to get you there, it is going to take far more than that to keep you there. It is my job to take the common occurrences in life, find people, find characters like our crazy family members, God knows we all have them, and to wrap a topic around them and in the simplest way every day, stand in front of cameras and pretend that I'm talking to you right here and say, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened today. So, I'm doing my thing. I start here in McAllen for Fox 2 News as a weathercaster and an anchor and a producer. And I move on to Austin. I did some bilingual reporting and more anchoring. And then I get a chance. I get a very big chance. I get a chance to move to our nation's capital and tell stories for one of the most reputable news organizations in the country, NBC. To wear the name and the colors of the peacock were what I wanted since I was a little girl. But herein lies the problem, if you will. I am not Katie Couric, and I am not Maria Elena Salinas. I grew up in a house where we watched the Today Show in the morning and Univision in the evening. I had two of the most outstanding female journalists front and center every day watching and learning how I would soon hone my craft. And still, years later, I'm thinking, that's not me. I don't look like that. I don't sound like that. I lived in Texas, but my family is from Mexico. I spoke English at school, Spanish at home. El inglés en la escuela y el español en la casa, ¿verdad? Everybody knows that. I say, my name is Erica, but pronounce my last name Gonzalez. I love Whataburger like any good red-blooded Texan does. And you clap for that, miss. <laughs> but let me tell you that I love my barbacoa tacos and menudo even more. I love a sleek, clean, polished, professional ensemble to fit the status quo of the highbrow DC culture. But I love red lipstick because I'm Latina and I just do, okay? You know, these things set me apart. And there are things that set each and every one of you apart. Different is not bad, guys. Different is the best bargaining chip that you could possibly bring to the table. And if you can weed through the que dirán, you could live to tell one hell of a story. I left the only home that I ever knew in the great state of Texas for Washington, D.C. The best and the brightest of every field, the greatest leaders of this country and of the free world for that matter, both blue and red, in my backyard. And then there's me, the little girl from Garland, Texas, educated at UTPA, paid my way through school with financial aid and grants scholarships I worked on campus and at times supported myself with food stamps. I'm there. I am playing ball with the best of them. And let me tell you that you are headed there too. Prepárense. 
because when you get the animo to face the world and show them what you have, here they come. Ahí vienen todos los críticos, all the naysayers. You can't do that. You came from the valley. You came from UTPA. Oh, sure, maybe that'll happen years down the line, but you're going to have to pay your dues. It's going to be a long time. You know, when I moved to B D.C., I was even asked whether or not I was American. Not in Texas, in D.C., of all places. Why do you pronounce your name like that? Do you always have to say every Spanish word with an accent? You know what? I do. I do. Because that's the way I was raised. Ese es quien soy. And if I didn't, my parents would ask me, what's wrong with you? Right? Ese es quien soy. For many of you, that's who you are too. I'm a lover of Jesus. I am a storyteller. I am a daughter. I am now a fiance. Flash that bling, girl. <laughs> Soy una hermana. And I am a graduate of the best damn school there is. So, who are you? As you start to make your list at the very top, you better write overcomer because that is exactly what it's going to take. By the grace of God, all of the dreams that I had and even the ones that I could not even fathom have come true. Please hear my heart and my words when I tell you that it can happen to you. Estoy tan agradecida de estar aquí con ustedes. My heart is so full to be honored like this amongst my professors and my peers. Que Dios los bendiga hoy y siempre. And students, my peers, I will see you at the top. Muchas gracias. Ms. Erika Gonzalez, thank you so very much. Thank you for being with us here. Muchísimas gracias por sus palabras. Thank you for your inspiration. Thank you for your commitment and contributions to UT Pan American. We wish you all the best, continued success. Please, another round of applause for Erika Gonzalez. <laughs> Señoras y señores, Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to present the candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees to be conferred this afternoon. We will present the candidates for degrees by academic unit. Well, this afternoon, we recognize, we congratulate, and we celebrate all our graduates. We also want to provide special recognition to our UT Pan American students whose academic work at our institution has been outstanding. Students with grade point averages of 3.9 to 4.0 graduate summa cum laude with highest honors. Those with 3.7 to 3.89 graduate magna cum laude with high honors. And those with 3.5 to 3.69 graduate cum laude with honors. To our graduates, pay special attention. Will all our undergraduate students graduating summa cum laude please stand? Will all the students graduating magna cum laude please stand? Will all the students graduating cum laude please stand? Please be seated. 
and once again, congratulations. Each student who has achieved these grade point averages will be recognized individually as they are awarded their degrees. We will now present the candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Doctora Dalia Guerra, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, will come forward and present the candidates for degrees in this college. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Candidates of the College of Arts and Humanities, congratulations for today's great achievement. I am so happy for you and for all of your families who must be very proud of you. And we at UT Pan American are very, very proud of all of your accomplishments. Those of you in the arts have won many awards and performed and exhibited at state and national venues and have brought wonderful recognition to our campus and to our region. And some of you have made an impact on our campus and community through your research and discovery, also presenting alongside our faculty at state and national venues. And other students have encouraged understanding and appreciation of our culture and of the way we communicate. Some of you students participated in service learning classes working with nonprofits and other organizations to better our community, and other students volunteered in hospitals and medical clinics, utilizing your new skills in translation. Our fabulous commencement speaker, Ms. Erika Gonzalez, is a wonderful example of the potential that you all have to make a significant impact at a national level. And we are so proud of her, and I am so proud and grateful to our faculty who obviously mentored her beautifully. Candidates, I hope you realize, as Dr. Nelson said, that you all really matter. Your achievements in the arts and humanities are extremely important because you are the ones who can improve the quality of life in South Texas. You can make us all better people. You can make a significant economic impact on our region. And you will be the spark and the inspiration to create a better world. Congratulations to all of you and best wishes. Will all the master's candidates for degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities please rise? Master's candidates. Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the candidates for master's degrees as recommended by our faculty. Will the master's candidates please be seated? Will all the bachelor's candidates for degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities please rise? Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the bachelor's candidates as recommended by our faculty. Please remain standing. And will the candidates for master's degrees please join the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Dr. Rodriguez, it is a privilege and an honor to present the candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. Those who stand before you, who have completed all their academic requirements, have been recommended by our faculty and are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Doctora Guerra, muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities, you have been recognized. Congratulations, felicitaciones. Please be seated. Dr. Teófilo Osuna, Dean of the College of Business Administration, will now present the candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees in the College of Business Administration. Gracias, Dr. Rodríguez. Uh, muy buenas tardes tengan todos ustedes. Es un gran honor, un gran privilegio estar aquí con ustedes, celebrando a nuestros alumnos que se gradúan hoy. Todo su esfuerzo Todo su trabajo se reconoce hoy y sus maestros que están aquí presentes también lo celebran. Good afternoon to all of you on this great day of celebration. It is an honor and a privilege to be here with you today to recognize the effort and talent, the hard work of our students who are about to graduate. Congratulations to our College of Business Administration students. You have worked hard, you have done great, we applaud your talent and your values, values that a lot of companies are beginning to seek, values that really help transform an area, values that really set you apart compared to a lot of other students from a lot of other places. We know, our faculty knows, that you will be able to go out there and transform the Rio Grande Valley, transform the prosperity, and more importantly, help transform the quality of life 
with your knowledge. Your business faculty, your business professors, sitting up here, are very proud of your efforts and know that you will dare to go out and challenge and take charge of your education, continuing your education. You took the challenge of studying long hours and taking difficult exams. Still, you prevailed, and your professors are very proud of you. You know, they know, that you will succeed and you will dare to lead. We are very proud of our faculty, and we are very proud of you. Congratulations. Will the candidates for doctoral degrees in the College of Business Administration please stand? I would like to recognize these individuals and acknowledge their hard work and dedication. I will read the titles of their dissertation, as well as recognize the chairs of their respective dissertation committees. Ashwini Ganga Daranan, can I smile with spirit towards a process model of associating workplace spirituality and emotional labor? Committee Chair, Dr. Jennifer Welburn. Christian Rodrigo Mellado Sid. Mispricing, speculation and real activities, manipulation. Committee Chair, Dr. Tang No. <laughs> Mohammed Isam Merhi. Creating the information system security culture through an integrated model of employees compliance. Committee Chair, Dr. Punit Alawila. Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the doctoral candidates in the College of Business Administration. As evaluated by our faculty, they have completed all their requirements for their respective degrees. Please be seated. Will all the candidates for master's degrees in the College of Business Administration please rise? Dr. Rodriguez, I present you the candidates for master's degrees as recommended by our faculty. Thank you. Will the master's candidates please be seated? Will all the candidates for bachelor's degree in the College of Business Administration please rise? Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the candidates for bachelor's degree as recommended by our faculty. Please remain standing. Will the doctoral and master's candidates please stand and join the bachelor's candidates? Dr. Rodriguez, it is a privilege and an honor to present these candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees in the College of Business Administration. Those who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, have been recommended by our faculty and are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Dr. Osuna, muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees in the College of Business Administration, you have been recognized. Congratulations, felicitaciones. Please be seated. Dr. Miguel Gonzalez, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, will introduce the candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for us to be here to recognize the class of 2014, and particularly, in my case, for those of you graduating the College of Engineering and Computer Science. I have no doubt that these students will succeed in the future and in any and all activities that they will undertake. Likewise, I have no doubt that they will become leaders in technology and innovation in the real South Texas region, the state, and the nation your future is definitely bright. On, the on behalf of the college faculty and staff, we want to wish you nothing but the best, and we hope that you will finally remember your time with us and visit us in the future. Do not forget us. 
no se olviden de nosotros. Will the candidates for master's degrees in the College of Engineering Computer Science please rise? <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the master's candidates in the College of Engineering Computer Science as recommended by the faculty. Thank you. Will the master's candidates please be seated? Will the, will the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering Computer Science please rise? <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez, I present the bachelor's candidates for the College of Engineering Computer Science as recommended by our faculty. Please remain standing. Will the master's candidates please stand and join the bachelor's candidates in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Dr. Rodriguez, it is a privilege and an honor to present these candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Those who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements have been recommended by our faculty and are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Thank you very much, Dr. Gonzalez. Candidates in the College of Engineering and Computer Science for master's and bachelor's degrees, you have been recognized. Congratulations, felicitaciones. Please be seated. And now, Dr. John Trant, Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics, will introduce the candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Science and Mathematics. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Unlike the president, I love commencement. Commencement is, <laughs> this is the best part of the academic year. This is the beginning. It is the commencement. This is, the easy part's over. Have you heard our commencement speaker? Now it's starting to get tough. But I do have a piece of advice for you. Parents, this, no tuition with this, don't worry. Set your feet apart, get a good foundation, bend your legs, be agile, back up, head up high, and with confidence, grab onto that life. Grab on with both hands. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be fun though. Fortunately, you've had a great faculty and your hard work have trained you with the abilities to ask that good question, to critically analyze problems, problems that may not even have arisen yet. In 20 years, the prediction is in 20 years, 80% of the new jobs and the skills that go with that job haven't even been invented yet. 20 years ago, the DNA for the human genome, it took years to sequence it. Now it takes a month. Heard a case two weeks ago where a kid fell in a coma after coming back from the, from the Far East. Took 48 hours to sequence a million pieces of DNA. They, they identified the DNA of a exotic parasite. Gave him the pro proper medicine. Kid is fine. 48 hours. Molecular medicine is here today. Molecular endocrinology, molecular ecology, biotechnology, nanotechnology, all the, te all the ologies are here today. And they're only <laughs> changing faster and faster. So my advice, both hands, grab life, and ride, baby, ride. <laughs> With that, will all the candidates for master's degree in the College of Science and Mathematics please rise. Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the master's candidates in the College of Science and Mathematics as recommended by our faculty. Will the master's candidates please be seated? 
Now, will the bachelor's candidates for the degrees in the College of Science and Mathematics please rise? <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez, I present to you the bachelor's candidates for, from the College of Science and Mathematics as recommended by our faculty. Please remain standing, and now will the master's candidates please rise and join the bachelor's candidates. Dr. Rodriguez, it is a privilege and an honor to present these candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Science and Mathematics. Those who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements have been recommended by our faculty are in, are, and are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Thank you very much, Dr. Trent. Candidates for master's and bachelor's degrees in the College of Science and Mathematics, you have been recognized. Congratulations, felicitaciones. Please remain standing. Will all the candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees from all the colleges please rise. <laughs> Dr. Nelson, on behalf of the faculty at the University of Texas Pan American, I am privileged to present these candidates for doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees. Each candidate in the best judgment of our faculty and subject to final confirmation has completed all the requirements for his or her degree. I recommend that the appropriate degrees be awarded at this time. This is the part of the job I love. By the power vested in me by the State of Texas and the University of Texas System Board of Regents, upon the recommendation of our faculty and subject to final confirmation of the completion of degree requirements, I hereby award these candidates their respective doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees, along with the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations, students, doctoral students, master's students, bachelor's students. Please come forward and receive your degrees. Once again, congratulations, felicitaciones. We wish you continued success. We are very confident, we are absolutely sure you will continue to make us proud. Remember, you are the heart of this institution. Ustedes son el corazón de esta institución. Never forget, prepare, discover, and transform. At this time, I ask that you please be seated so the commencement officers can guide you onto stage. As part of our strong partnership with our local media organizations, we are certainly privileged to have this afternoon with us Ms. Jessica Montoya, morning show producer, host, and reporter for KNVO Univision 4848 and Fox 2 as our professional announcer this afternoon. Ms. Montoya, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We sincerely appreciate your time. Once again, congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. I know it takes, you do a little bit of everything, right? <laughs> Muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. As a former student and graduate from the University of Texas Pan American, I feel honored 
to be part of this very special moment in your lives. As you've come to realize, education is the key to unlocking your potential. And this year, this moment proves all of your hard work and dedication and determination. May God continue to bless you and your abilities, graduates. Felicidades a los padres de familia también que forman parte del éxito de sus hijos, a los que los apoyan. Muchas felicidades porque para ustedes ese apoyo y ese amor de los padres es esencial para el éxito de nosotros los hijos. Así que un aplauso también para ustedes. Felicidades. Are you ready? Listos. <laughs> Graduates from the College of Arts and Humanities Doctoral. It's College of Business Administration. Okay, um, Ashnei Gong Gallagher. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Christian Rodrigo Mellado. Mohamed Issam Merhim. The following are the candidates for degrees in the College of Business Administration. Candidates for a Master of Accountancy are Walter Rodriguez, Hector Reese. Candidates for a Master of Business Administration are Isaac Jason Bullock. Carmina Aguirre Fura. Judith Ganaway. Amanda Lee Garcia. Aleida Daily Gonzalez. Michael Hernandez. Jose Herrera, Roland Adam Lopez, Oluwaseun Mabadaje, <laughs> Abdelhamid Riani, Silvia Rodarte. Candidates for dual degrees in Master of Science in Accounting and Bachelor of Business Administration are Yameli Hacel Barrios, Luis Gonzalez, Cum laude Vanessa Abigail Leal. The following are the candidates for degrees in the College of Business Administration. Candidates for a Bachelor of Business Administration are Daniela Alaniz, Lorena Deliz Alaniz, Yesenia Aldaz, Suad Ived Ali, 
Carlos Alberto Aranda. Fabiola Arredondo. Brenda Lee Áviles. Cum laude, Brenda Bader. Maureen Cadley Lamanero Bedia. Daniela Caballero. Marcos Cantú. Dolca Marlene Baez. Magna Cum laude, Hiteshu Pravin Bacatta. María Magdalena Casas. Roxanne Astrid Díaz. Ashley Ferretis. Eduardo Flores. Luis Fernando Flores. Magna Cum laude, Miguel García. Jennifer Garza. Michael Garza. Benjamin Gaitán. Cassandra González. Cum laude, Regino González. José Carlos Herrera, Jr. Sheila Carolina Herrera. James Ibarra. Dominic Longoria. Ernesto Ventura López. Wilber López. Jorge Eduardo Lugo. Antonio Isaías Luna. Diorica Lian Maldonado. José Manjarres. Gladys Martínez. Maribel Mata. Esther Zavala Medrano. Denise Morales. Elizabeth Navarro. Ricardo Núñez. Juan José Perales. Héctor Pérez. Janet Pérez. Cintia Ramírez. Michael Ramírez. Gilberto Ríos. Héctor Rivas. Tomás Clint Rocha. Jaboni Ray Rodríguez. Kevin Sainz. Rosa Elena Salinas. Arimon Sánchez. Viviana Jacqueline Sánchez. David Evaristo Sandoval Jr. Andrés Santiago. George Selvera. Marcela Guadalupe Soto. Federico Stunzner. Ivana Treviño. Generoso Treviño. Ricardo Vázquez. Alexander Villarreal. Daniel Jeff Villarreal. David Villarreal. Eldridge Eugene Villarreal. The following are the candidates for degrees in the College of Arts and Humanities. 
Candidates for Master of Arts are Samantha Amberson Dominguez, Maria Alberta Barrera, Carlos Caro, Janet Guzman, Marina Maggi, Stephanie Victoria Salinas. Topacio Santibáñez. Candidates for a Master of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies are Desiree Aguirre. Candidates for a Master of Arts are Gladys Janet Acevedo. Consuelo Buentello. Rolando Canales. Karina Lisbeth Cantú. Magna Cum Laude, Daniel Chavarria. Sandy Davis. Elizabeth Maria Espinosa. Alma Espinosa. Francelia Brigitte Garcia. Leanne Garcia. Marcos Garcia, Miguel Ángel García, Nesby Alejandra García, Randy García, Kamlari Cristela Garza, Cristo Casanova Garza, Ana González, Cum laude, Angel de Jesus Gonzalez. Bianca Loren Gonzalez. Jonathan Gonzalez. Sephra Marie Gonzalez. Amanda Guerra. Janet Hernandez. Ashlet Alejandra Hernández Ríos. Eneida Guerrero. Francisco Hernández. Lía Juárez. Luis Loera. Ana Karen López. María de Jesús López. Cum laude, Daniela García Martínez. Isamar Martínez. Sandy Michelle Martínez. Norma Leticia Melchor. Edilberto Montemayor. Luis Antonio Montemayor. Katia Morales. Lauren Noyola. Eida Ocañas. Eric Ochoa. Magna Cum Laude, Jason Anthony Orozco. Cum Laude, Joel Ortega. Ángel Alejandro Ortiz. Cum Laude, Blanca Parras. Julia Ana Reyes. Cristina Reina. Rebecca Reina. Kevin Lee Richards. Eric Rivera. Cum laude, Matthew James Rodriguez. Samantha Rodriguez. Celini Rodriguez. Danette Roque. Cynthia Marlene Sainz. Marina Sainz. (laughs) 
Nayeli Natalie Salazar. Trisha Michelle Salazar. Raymond Sanchez. Laura Marie Sandoval. Lisette Arlene Solis. Jennifer Torres. Susan Valle. Nadia Vázquez. Deborah Diane Velázquez. Daniel Villanueva. Jessica Ann Villarreal. Joshua Glenn Wolf. Yaitza Ann Zapata. These are the candidates for a Bachelor of Arts in Social Studies Composite. Are Sean Carlson. Edgar Esteves. Catarino Gonzalez. Cynthia Lee Perez. Amanda Perez Sanchez. Candidates for a Bachelor of Fine Arts are Trevor Morgan Desmond. Lina Aisa Gonzalez. Manuel Roel Huerta. Magna Cum Laude, Anaid Madrigal. Michael Peña. Michelle Renee Rutiaga. Casey Salinas. Julia Alejandra Solís Delgado. Silvia Vázquez. Erika Zamora Ibarra. Candidates for a Bachelor of Music are Andrew Balandrano, Christopher Jared De Luna, Kamlari Orlando Tijerina, The following are the candidates for degrees in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Candidates for a Master of Science are Juan Carlos Martinez Chacin, Gorab Mukonapen, Mukonadape, <laughs> Rodolfo Roman Velasco. Anim Bersabe Silva. Candidates for a Master of Science in Engineering are Javier Castillo, Andres Medina. Candidates for a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science are Joaquin Humberto Cantú. Eric Michael Martinez. Candidates for a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering are Greg Acosta, Jerry Flores, Magna Cum Laude Elizabeth Hernandez, Eloy Ibarra, Candidates for a Master's of Science are Alejandro Aguilar, Sergio Cepeda, Jessica Serino, 
Alejandro Federico Martínez. Esteban Meléndez. Juan Carlos Morales. Anne Marie Priolo. Waldo Sonnen. Indalecio Soto Jr. Candidates for a Master of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies. Mayanin Casares. Kamlari Esther Salas. <laughs> Candidates for a Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies are Marta Edith Mares Garza. Candidates for a Bachelor of Science are Miguel Arias. Marcela Balboa. Marisol Basaldua. Summa cum laude, Alisa Marie Cantu. Mariel Alejandra Cantu. <laughs> Hannah Renee Cárdenas. Miguel Serna. Joel Chapa cum laude. Fidelis Daquel. Summa cum laude, Vanora Davila. <laughs> Ojirame Eremasari. Congratulations. <laughs> Jessica Estrada. Alejandrina Fernández. Catherine Ann Fridlin. Magna Cum Laude, Cesar Adrián Galván. Ana García. Jovan García. Juan Alejandro García. Oscar Garza. Pamela Garza. Summa Cum Laude, Vanessa Marie Garza. Jessica Gómez. Bianca Aide González. Masen Fatiha Jaiha. <laughs> Ernesto Herrera. Courtney Jo Houston. Cum laude, Bruce Croker. Margaret Lileal. Jessica Marie Ledesma. Jorge Lopez. René Lucero. Leslie Paola Lumbreras. Briseida Maldonado. Mayra Elisette Marroquín. Kumlari Nicolás Martínez. Karina Mejía. Mónica Montiel. Kimberly Mora. Michael Nicolás Moreno. Luis Olavarrieta. Ana Lilia Olivares. Bianca Axela Peña. Andrea Quirino. Selina Laura Ramírez. Erika Estefanía Razo. Daisy Margaret Rodríguez. 
Cum laude, Grecia Maria Sainz. Ricardo Saldívar. Luisa Salinas. José Ángel Valdés. Víctor Villalpando. Joshua Villarreal. Magna Cum Laude, Megan Isabella Villarreal. José Villegas. Justin Lloyd Wendell. Y Rubén Hinojosa. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> well, guess what? You're no longer students. You're now alumni. Congratulations. <laughs> Class of 2014, you have arrived. You have made it. And there's two small rituals that we have to go through. You may not be students, but I have one more thing to teach you. You're going to, in just a moment, move your tassel, not yet, from the right side to the left side. Why do you move it to the left side? Because your heart is on the left side. And you are putting the University of Texas Pan American you are alma mater into your heart. So with that, please turn your tassel from the right to the left. <laughs> Many of you have your bronc ring. You have worn your bronc ring with the shield pointing towards you. That is because that ring and Pan American protects you. But now, you take off that ring and turn it around so the shield faces out because you are facing the world as a bronc and you're reaching out to protect others. Take your ring and turn it around. We proudly celebrate what you have accomplished today. And we want to introduce you and induct you into the Alumni Association. But before we do that, I want to do something that I think is very special that shows how this faculty, this university, is transforming the valley as we speak. Would everyone who graduated from Edinburgh Junior College, from Edinburgh Regional College, from Pan American College, from Pan American University, from the University of Texas Pan American, would everyone please rise so we may salute all of our alumni. <laughs> 
Today, as I said, you are joining an exclusive club, a club that all of these people belong to, the Alumni Association. We have a special board member here today, Mrs. Sitali Rio Rojas, to induct you into our family, our larger family, the alumni family. Sitali. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. This is a memorable day for you, your family and friends. As it is a great day for you, it is also a special moment for the University of Texas Pan American Alumni Association. As we now, you, we count you as among of one of our proud alumni of UTPA. It is no exaggeration to say that after today, you will never be the same. Your experience at this university has changed the way you think and the way you behave. I hope you always embrace your alma mater, even if your career takes you away from South Texas. As Vice President of the Alumni Association, it is a distinct privilege and honor to induct the class of 2014 into the University of Texas Pan American Alumni Association family. Fellow alumni, I welcome you with all of us who have preceded you and ask you to share continue, continuous interest in the welfare and excellence of the University of Texas Pan American. I offer you my warmest congratulations and best wishes for the future success in your life. Felicidades y mis mejores deseos para ti. Gracias. Thank you, Seat Lali. She's a wonderful person. And the Alumni Association reaches out to you. Over on Klausner, we have your own building. It's a great place to go, to network, to find jobs, to get to know each other. You would never have made it here, alumni, if it weren't for the sacrifices that I spoke of earlier and the people who sacrificed for you. When I say that we are a family, we really are. Sin los padres, sin las madres, without the mothers and fathers, you wouldn't be here graduating today. So I ask, todos las madres y los padres, de pie, por favor, please stand so that we can salute and recognize you. Thank you so much for letting them be part of our Pan Am Bronx family. But in the Valley, it's even more special because we do it all together. Las abuelitas y los abuelos, grandmothers and grandfathers, de pie, por favor, please stand so that we can salute and thank you. Graduates, some of you had a little bit of extra help. Some of you may have cheated a little bit because you had some apoyo, some support that others didn't have. Would the husbands and the wives and the partners who struggled so mightily for you to succeed. Please rise so that we may celebrate you. And then they're the ones who made the true sacrifice. 
who when you stayed late in the library or when you were working on a paper or when you were reading an assignment, they had to go to bed without you. You weren't there to cook dinner for them. Hubby did that. Or mom did that. Can we please celebrate the children, los niños, hijos y hijas, the children of the graduates. Please hold those babies up. I and please stand. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for helping. Thank you for making this day possible. And finally, there is that group who pushed, who prodded, who demanded, who loved you, and who take great pride in you. Would the faculty please stand so that we may applaud you and thank you. <laughs> Stay standing, please. Would all of the graduates please rise? This will be the last time that I get to do this at a graduation. So I want to do it loud, and I want to do it with Bronc pride. On, six, on three, it's going to be Gold Bronx, and it's going to be loud. Thank you.